it's still cold in south of France, but it's nice because the sun is here and it's not dark like in Denmark. Yeah, guys, uh, the reason why we take you out on a trip like this is because we would like to tell you a fairy tale about a young-ish couple that lives on a boat and they want to improve the boat in so many ways and one of the ways is by installing solar but the problem is they don't have a solar arch and they have to build one so some of the things that we encountered is what we're going to tell you about in this small trip and the other thing was that uh, we actually forgot uh, <laughs> to turn on the sound of some of the videos so we don't have any sound there yeah so let's see what we can do hi guys and welcome to our channel catastrophe sailing I'm room and I'm Lee Kang. Together we bought a 40 foot leopard named Mitsu. We sold our house and all our stuff back in Denmark, quit our jobs and finally ditched our kids. Now we're full time liverboards, plan to see as much of the world as we can with the money we have left. So please join us on our journey here on YouTube. So one of the first things that we found out when we bought the boat was that the flexible solars it came with didn't work or at least one of them and they were connected in series so it didn't work so we had to take them off and buy some new ones but that was a fairly simple job of course the to holes take them off. yeah to take them <laughs> off uh, it was easy of course the holes didn't fit, but uh, we just drilled some new ones and <laughs> found the cable. Yeah. <laughs> I was lucky. I'll have to see if it goes all the way down. I can see it down there. I can see it down there. I just need to go down and look. So we bought four rigid uh, solar panels on the internet. They're each 420 watts and uh, we got them delivered on the harbor and uh, carried them aboard. <clears throat> they were quite heavy. <laughs> All right. They right? were. On, uh, not very handy. Is that what you call it? Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, but we got them aboard and tied them down so they could sit there and wait until we were ready to install them. So we bought some uh, tubing on the internet that's actually supposed to be used for uh, handrails on staircases and they're made so that you glue them together because we couldn't find a welder down here and uh, we couldn't afford to buy the real stuff the only good thing is that uh, at least it's 316 stainless so that's good well anyway we got the the pipes and started to put it all together just dry fitting and see where it's supposed to go I'm making a template for the solar um, so that we can align the, the solar arch and it's easier to do with a board like this than the whole thing whole solar panel so that's what I'm trying to do now <laughs> yeah. 
So we bought these green plastic doohickeys that are meant to hold some pipes, uh, hydraulic pipes. And we bought those to attach the solar uh, panels to the tubing. So that's what we get here. Yeah, so we had quite a challenge, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, with all the hope oh, of how we wanted the setup to be with the, with the arch and the measurements, it was a big mess. Yeah. And, uh, and hard work. Also hard work. Everything on Mitsu is hard work. Lifting it so many times and just things falling off and breaking and <laughs> duct tape. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. So we decided to use this piece of wood to simulate a solar panel because it would be too hard to just put out the solar panel and there. Uh, we didn't want to ruin them before they got up there. So, so, uh, so that's why it, it looks kind of funny, but we got the measurements between the holes and could use that. Also to get some rigidity into it uh, when it got mounted on the, on the hot tub. Uh, we really had a lot of discussion on how everything should be done and as you all know I'm always right yeah so I just have to walk away even though look at how I'm pointing there <laughs> I know what I'm talking about no nope, not always <laughs> nice and cold morning here in the south of France uh, yesterday we did the dry fit of the solar array and we fouled up big time so uh, let me just walk you through it here we drilled in these ones to hold the array and we did these supports here so that it would be angled in 90 degrees up here um, they used to be three meters from there to there and they are two and a half meters to the middle and another one two and a half meters so the thing is now this part is too short because we planned on installing them down here on the sugar scoop side there but we decided it would look better up here and it would fit better so now that it's all too short let me just show you from downstairs you can see the angle is off so what we should have done is take the three meter piece on each side and put it up top and then use the two and a half meters 
and cut those 20 centimeters off, but we didn't. Um, so now we're going to see what we can do about it. I'm going to see if I can move from up there down to the side there and uh, see if that will help us out. Maybe just a little bit on the angle. Uh, but anyway, it is quite challenging, but we like the way it looks here. The angle is kind of the same as for the hot tub. And we're going to put supports up here. We're going to put supports here on the davits. So I have to get on with it now. So as you might be able to see, uh, the arch is bending down in the middle. And that's because it's two parts. We weren't able to find one solid piece that would go all the way across, or at least not within our budget. So that's why we get this uh, bend out. So we got these feet to mount it on the boat and they are really good actually because you can turn them in any direction you want to. Uh, so now it's just a question of uh, where to put them. But getting really tired of all the dry fit and all the rope and everything, I thought why not just place them here and then just make it work. Even though Lika would be shouting in the background, <laughs> Don't drill holes in my boat! <laughs> oh. Yeah, but did it go as we planned? It, it didn't go as planned, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe you should have listened to your wife. <laughs> uh, never listen to the wife. So here in the boat yard we found uh, some of these. Let me just show you here. these supports um, and we thought we could use those just to help us out because we got tired of lifting it up all the time and all the ropes so we could use those and that was, that was quite handy once we got them up there. Yeah. <laughs> had to do a lot of measuring uh, to figure out where the support should be and uh, we did that but everything was really really off so we had to put down some uh, some strings what's it called some line thin line mason line that's what we call it in Danish anyway so that we could get a idea of how much off it is or was yeah. um, but the thing with boats and duct tape and lines and flexible things it's it's a mess it is a mess So 
so that's pretty much the adventure of the solar arch and trying to fit that and you see this young ish couple have gotten really old doing this job yeah only this and job. a lot of gray hairs and almost a divorce <laughs> but now we're back in business yeah and everything's good so thanks for watching guys see hope you, you enjoyed it yes yeah.